Hey guys, Jason here with The Minto Show. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for being a subscriber. It is a beautiful, beautiful Wednesday evening here in Delaware. Today is August the 16th. So we got some news. Let me set this water down for a second. So I haven't made a video in nine days. That's because I have kidney stones. <laughs> yeah, I'm 44 years old and this is the first time I've ever had a kidney stone. I have no family history of kidney stones. So right now, over the last nine days, I was on and off pain, um, scans, uh, doctor's visit, urologist visits. So I'm feeling pretty good. I actually went back to work. I was actually teleworking for a few days. But uh, yeah, I have kidney stones. Um, I wish them on no one. <laughs> um, currently, I have a five millimeter one that is somewhere close to my bladder, I'm told. And I come to find out at my urologist visit, I have another one that's six millimeters in my kidney. So um, I'm on some medication. So they gave me to kind of release, you know, hopefully get the stone to travel through uh, nice and smooth and get it out of here. The doctor said I have a 70% chance of passing it on my own. If not, it has to be like an invasive surgery. So I'm hoping that doesn't come to that. Um, I have been drinking a ton of water. Um, let's get back to the water. So, um, you know, not having a family history of this, I'm like, ask the doc, you know, kind of like, well, how did this happen? And he says, usually it's a, it stems from uh, like chronic dehydration. So, and I know, um, I'm not a huge water drinker. I don't like water, so I know that is my problem. I'm tired often. So I've been really, really trying hard to just down this water. Um, another factor was caffeine intake. Uh, I'm not gonna lie to you, I drink a lot of coffee. Um, a lot of times I start in the morning with a half a cup. Uh, I get to work, I usually have two cups before lunch. After lunch, two cups. When I get home, two cups. So yeah, I've had way, probably way too much coffee. So I'm dramatically decreasing my caffeine intake. I'm having one cup in the morning and one cup in the afternoon, and that is it. So uh, I'm hoping, you know, I don't wanna go through this again. So yeah, it's been the worst. So hopefully I'll just get through this, we'll pass them. I don't wanna go, I don't want no surgeries. Um, I'm just not into that. So hopefully the water and the medication will get us through this. So, missed you guys. Hope everything's well in your world. Um, yeah, it is currently 85 degrees here. It is warm. Uh, it's kind of humid, but uh, I did get a little bit of work done. Um, I just kind of broke up. Remember with the, the 26 rounds we had last video? So I kind of have them broken into pieces here and we're gonna go ahead and get them into smaller pieces so we can get them in the wood the woodshed so yeah that's what's going on tonight if you guys want to watch some wood splitting cool if not maybe i'll check on the next video for uh, interest in that i think coming down the pike uh the next big thing i want to get done is i want to build a roadside firewood rack stand uh to sell our firewood bundles um I'll kind of show you what's going on with that, but that's kind of the plan. I have to get the lumber. I kind of have a plan of attack on how big I want it to be um, so it'll, so the tractor can move it. But uh, yeah, so that'll be the next big thing coming down the pike. So, uh, all right guys, let's get started. Thank you. 
All right, guys. <laughs> it's, a, it's a little sweaty, but uh, it's going really good. I got this uh, first pile done, so uh, now we're gonna run on the uh, on the second one. So uh, yeah, let's get the second pile done and uh, keep moving on. All done shirt soaked but uh, we got it done um, that second half of the wood pile there took me an hour and 15 minutes so um, just to just for your you know situational awareness you know how long it took me so um, most of it was poplar I think 90 I'd say about 90% of it was poplar and probably 10% was uh, I think it was gum so uh, this is this is kind of like uh, the size I like to go for. Nice small for the wood stove and for bundle firewood. So, yeah, it's a nice, uh, it's a nice little pile. And uh, yeah, we'll get it all stacked up in the in the woodshed. But uh, there it is. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. So hopefully, we'll get that stacked tomorrow. And uh, we'll probably go ahead and try to start picking apart from that pile again with the tractor. Remember, that's where the bee's nest was. And it was a, um, I investigated more, it was uh, yellow jackets. So it wasn't honeybees. But uh, I, think, I think they're all gone. Their nest got rained on a couple of times. So yeah, so we'll just have to get the tractor in there and start pulling apart and cutting them up into rounds and <sighs> wash and repeat, right? <laughs> so, uh, all right, guys, that's it. I'm going to go get cleaned up and get some dinner. And uh, we'll see you on the next one. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for being a subscriber, guys. We'll see you. Bye.